hello. I hope you've been having a really good World Book Day. Today I'm going to read you The Wolf and the Three Be Mr. Wolf and the Three Bears by Jan Fernley. It was a special day for Mr. Wolf. He was feeling very excited because today his friends, the Three Bears, were coming around for tea. It was Baby Bear's birthday and Mr. Wolf was planning a lovely party for everyone. Mr. Wolf wanted to cook a special dish for each one of his guests and because of such a lot to do, Grandma came along to help. We must be tidy and safe in the kitchen when we're cooking, reminded Grandma. Let's wash our paws before we start and then we can have some fun. For a baby bear's dish they looked in the big recipe book. Soon they found the perfect thing to make, a birthday cake. Next they thought about Mummy Bear. Don't she like sandwiches, said Mr. Wolf. Grandma remembered there was a recipe in her magazine. They followed it carefully and soon there was a big heap of sandwiches on the table, all ready for the party. Now it was time to make something for Daddy Bear. Grandma's favourite TV programme gave them lots of ideas. Those half puff cakes sound good, said Mr Wolf. Good thinking, said Grandma. We'd better make lots, because he is a big bear. They were easy to do. Then it was Grandma's turn to pick something tasty, but she couldn't decide what she wanted. Mr. Wolf had a brainwave. Mr. Wolf helped Grandma look on the internet for some ideas and soon found a recipe she fancied. Cheesy snip snacks. They printed out the recipe and set to work. Mr. Wolf and Grandma still had a lot to do before their guests arrived. They blew up balloons, wrapped Baby Bear's present, laid the table and made some party hats. Grandma arranged some flowers. Then they tidied up the house from top to bottom until it looked lovely. Ready, said Mr. Wolf, just as they heard a knock on the door. Come in, welcome, cried Mr. Wolf. Happy birthday, baby bear. But somebody came barging in before them. It was Goldilocks. Let me come in, Mr. Wolf, she demanded. I smell nice, things are cooking. What have you brought her for? whispered Mr. Wolf. She causes trouble. She followed us through the woods, said Daddy Bear. There was nothing we could do. She said she was invited too. What a fibber, said Mr Wolf. Don't be mean. Let the child come in, called Grandma from her chair. But you better behave yourself, Goldilocks, she warned. Yeah, yeah, shrugged Goldilocks, tossing her curls, I promise. But it wasn't long before Goldilocks forgot her promise. When they were dancing, she trod on Mr Wolf's toe. He didn't say sorry. And when they played past the parcel, Goldilocks took off all the wrappers instead of just one. And when they played musical chairs, Goldilocks was too rough. And she cheated. Grandma didn't join in the games. She just sat in her chair, as grandmas often do, watching. I think it's time for tea, she said. But... Someone had got there first. Somebody's had a bite out of this cake, said Daddy Bear. Someone's been at this sandwich too, said Mummy Bear. Mine's nearly all gone, cried Baby Bear. This always happens to me. Your food's yucky, complained Goldilocks with her cheeks bulging. Her table manners were atrocious. Poor Mr Wolf. My party's a disaster, he whimpered. Grandma smiled at Mr Wolf and slowly got to her feet. It's time for another game she said let's play hide and seek boring said Goldilocks I always win we'll see said Grandma everyone ran off to hide Grandma counted to 100 Mummy, ready or not she called she took a while but she did find everybody eventually that is all except for Goldilocks what a rude girl said Mummy Bear she's neatly ruined her party and now she's gone off without saying thank you never mind said Grandma I've got a surprise. She disappears into the kitchen and emerged with a beautiful great big pie, all steaming hot from the oven, with a golden melt in the mouth crumbly pastry crust. Clever grandma, everyone cheered. Let's gobble it up while it's hot, said Mr Wolf. Not just yet, said grandma. I think this is a dish best served cold. And as they waited for the golden pie to cool, Grandma giggled to herself and settled back to enjoy the rest of the party. Save me a big piece, she said. A very big piece. I'm starving. I hope you
hope you enjoyed the story.